Compass is, uh, was started in 2013. Um, it was actually a group uh, called Wadley and Associates originally, and, and Dave uh, Grove, Dr. David Grove and I, uh, bought the practice. There were 12 clinicians at the time, and uh, now today we're at 35 clinicians, full and part-time. Um, we provide comprehensive mental health services um, to uh, Polk County and surrounding areas. Actually, we have folks come from all parts of the state. We uh, provide play therapy, we provide psychotherapy, psychodrama, we provide um, hypnosis, we provide biofeedback, um, we provide transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is for um, individuals that have suffered with chronic depression. Um, I uh, uh, actually was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska, and I wound up um, in uh, Des Moines on a football scholarship at Drake University. I went to Drake because they had a department of religion, and I thought I wanted to be a Presbyterian minister at, <laughs> at the time. And what happened was is that uh, I got a, uh, a class called Social Work, um, and what I was to do is to go out to a place called Orchard Place, which is a residential treatment center for emotionally disturbed kids. And I fell in love with kids who had problems um, dealing with reality. And that became then, I think, my God's calling, if you will. So um, I got a degree, in, a bachelor's degree in, in uh, psychology, and I went and got my master's degree um, in social work uh, at uh, the University of Iowa. And it's really interesting because social workers provide more mental health treatment in this country than any other group of mental health practitioners combined. Uh, the LISW behind my name is a licensed independent social worker. That's the highest level we, uh, we uh, provide licensure for in Iowa for social workers. And then I belong to the Academy of Certified Social Workers, which is a, another um, kind of hoop nationally, and then I'm also a board-certified diplomate in clinical social work. That's that BCD. So I always kind of say, people ask me that question, and I go, well, I'm an LISW, ACSW, BCD, HIJK, LMNOP, you know, because sometimes um, all those things get lengthy and lengthy. It's a problem. <laughs> I provide um, individual, family, uh, marital, uh, therapy. I'm also a uh, certified hypnotist, so I provide hypnosis as well. Clinical hypnosis is really an attempt to try to help people um, who have problems with insomnia, for instance, that um, have difficulty with pain, um, uh, headaches. I do a lot of migraine work, actually, uh, for folks utilizing hypnosis, anxiety, depression, um, uh, as, as well as the traditional kinds of uh, stop smoking and, and uh, weight loss. So after I um, finished my MSW, uh, which was in 1979, um, I went and uh, was, I was actually working for Orchard Place at the time. Um, I got so intrigued with Orchard Place that uh, I went back and um, ran their adolescent program uh, called Kenyon House for about uh, eight years, 10 years. I did some postgraduate training at the, at, at the Menninger Foundation, which at that time was in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, so I started back in 79. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. I've seen a lot of folks. The interesting thing for me when I first met my first uh, individual who was having trouble with reality, a uh, young boy who had um, lost his parents in a tragic accident. They had uh, been killed one evening while uh, getting slipping off a bridge. And this young boy had this little troll that came to him at night and would talk to him about how bad and terrible he was. And the troll to him looked so real that he would wake up with night terrors and he was thinking that he needed to kill himself. And as we worked on, on the process with him and trying to discover what was going on, what we found out was is that that evening 
his grandparents came to stay with him while his parents went to a movie. And he was so mad at them that he wished them dead. And unfortunately, they slipped off a bridge and died. That trauma, that which of course he had nothing to do with, but that trauma had become so incredibly difficult that it manifests itself in a little troll that was telling him to kill himself. It's amazing. So it's so unique, it's so interesting to me, um, and not just with children, but with, with us, us adults as well. It's, it's a fascinating work. I'm, I'm always um, amazed at the clients that I have, their um, process of attempting to develop and cope with things that are so hard and so difficult, um, and their resilience. Uh, and when we get to a place where we discover their path and help them find a new journey, um, how grateful they are um, to find this new path for themselves. It's just amazing.